Um, I was just telling her Pinky's like pushing us pretty hard. She wants a record player. Like so does Stella. It's it's the Where weirdest. Come from? Like, well, I mean, everything's cyclical, right? Like, yeah, it's coming back. Yeah, I'm you know, that up. bell bottom pants yeah. and mm-hmm. it's just I know these weird loops. There's nothing new under the sun. Yeah, it doesn't feel that way. I'm like we. I was telling someone like we fought. We were so excited when you didn't have to move the needle. You know, move the needle. <laughs> scratch it. There was dust on it. Mm-hmm. And now you want to go back to that. Well, okay, but the thing I understand is um, when it comes to the sound. Wow. So like when they make MP3s, they drop some tracks, right? That sort of like would normally fill out the sound. <laughs> Yes, that's and that, what I'm hearing. That's what's missing in music today in these digital formats that exist on these vinyl records. Mm-hmm. You know, the funny thing is, like, I, I grew up in a house with my dad who had a record player and a whole like collection of records that I never like, once heard him play. But to vinyl? Right. So like, I grew up in this house where it was there and never once do I re- ever remember him playing. We had a huge one. It's like a piece of furniture. Wow. Yeah. Yes, with like a the cabinet underneath. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> my mom still has it. My brother had it refurbished and got the sound all. You can get like a little cute up. one, like sixty nine bucks. It comes with a. So some a, of them are like it's a Bluetooth. Yeah, some of them are that's really crazy cute. To me. Yeah, but the speaker <laughs> inside of them. That's why you want them to be Bluetooth because the speaker that's built into them isn't very good. Right. Isn't good. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's gotcha, the gotcha. brand that starts with a C. I forget the name of it, but. Um. I can get it tomorrow on Friday. Yeah, uh, la la la. It'll be delivered here by the time we're done. Yeah, Danfi, Danfi Audio Record oh, okay. Player. That's a little different. Yeah. The, so we went no to. No idea what the quality is like. We went to the mall. The as Chris puts it, the five, the three knives mall. The three knives I mall. It was a four knives mall. I don't know anymore. The Lakeland mall. So yeah, yeah the it's Lake probably knives. five knives by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we went up there with her because they have an FY FYE or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh right. And uh, they had records there she really wanted to see if she could get this record from the album that mm-hmm. just dropped mm-hmm. and um and of course they didn't have it but they had like an older one so she went ahead and bought it it's her money she can do with it mm-hmm. what she pleases yeah you know how much do records cost nowadays 20 22 to 25 bucks depending okay. like what a cd i guess the I, last time I, I, ever asked, bought I couldn't even tell you the last i don't time. know i play for i pay for us to all have apple music so i don't have to do this shit, well, yeah but apparently here we are yeah. Yeah. Verizon. Here we are like yeah. you realize you could have any album you want but right, <laughs> right here. here at your fingers immediately the second it drops ears. yes <laughs> i don't free. know it's a thing yeah so she's pushing pretty hard i guess there's a record store like close to dixie town or whatever mm-hmm. that is anyway so she's like wanting to go over there and yeah. see if they have the record that we already say, ordered for her. One, yeah, one downtown here. That should be here soon. Well, like, we already ordered it, so she's not going to get it today. Right, right. right. You can order it, like, in the mail? I'd be afraid it'd warp or break or something. Have it shipped? Like, prime? I mean, yeah, that's what... I think he got it on Amazon, maybe, but I don't know. Well, in the same vein of going back to old music, I was pressure washing my mom's house the other day, and I had my earbuds in. I was listening to Pandora... Tears for Fears radio. So it's all oh, like love it. college, yes. you know, late high school music. Yes. Pretty and you start music. listening to the lyrics of some of these songs. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what they're saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Father Figure from uh, George Michael. I'm like, is he a pedophile? Oh. He's talking about <laughs> tiny hands. And, I will be yeah, your father figure. Yeah. Put your tiny hand I was in like, mind. I need to look this up because some of the lyrics I thought, oh my goodness. Well, okay. Yeah, it is a little yeah. interesting. Especially... You know, growing up, I had the biggest crush on him. Totally. Oh, didn't yeah. Know that he was, you know, oh, you weren't allowed probably to Probably not then. into me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God so. forbid you be who you are. <laughs> yes, I know. You're not allowed. Which is a whole other conversation for yes. this week. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. The hate is rampant. Oh, Continue. my God. It yeah. is rampant. But, but anyway, it's so. It's just how it is. It's then I would now. go back and listen to his music. You'd be like, hmm, what is this? So <laughs> it brings a whole new meaning. It really You does. know, once you yeah. realize what their personal feelings right, are, you right, know? Yeah. So, anyway, welcome to the Drama Mamas. Yes, welcome. I'm Kristen. I'm Angela. I'm Kathy. We're Here recording we are. outside. Oh, we're it's beautiful back at the joinery today, today cuz yeah. it's gorgeous. It's it absolutely. Yeah, Chris like wanted to go sky. out yesterday cuz the kids were home with the mm-hmm. holiday, you know. And he's like, "Let's go out and do something." Cuz he's been we've been very diligent in the house working mm-hmm. hard on mm-hmm. some stuff and Yeah. Yeah. 
so he was kind of wanting to get out, and I was kind of like, nah. <laughs> I'm good. Right? It's and a bras off kind of day. Cocoon. <laughs> it's a pajama day. Yeah. I had that the other day. Well, Pinky slept all day. I got up. When we texted you at like one. Yeah. I think that, I don't remember what time it was that you texted me, but. It was after lunch. Yeah. She's like, what are we having for lunch? She came out and emerged from her room. What are we having for lunch? And we we're like, I don't know. She's like, oh. And then we we're like, well, maybe we'll do this chicken. We have some. You know, potatoes, mm -hmm. some baked potatoes. We'll do some baked potatoes, brickle chicken on, on it, you know, Perfect. cheese. Yeah, something light. Yeah. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> it wasn't, it didn't spawn her interest. Nope. No. I mean, she ate it. We of went and gave it to her, but. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, my she kids were up by like eight. We'd already done a whole day's worth of activities. I'm like, she's still in bed? How oh, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live her we, life. We sleep late. In our house, when we can, we sleep late. I wish I could. I would in a heartbeat if I could, but I'm wide awake. 6.30 at the I'll latest. i bed and be like, yes. Just slept in again until like 8.30 today. 5.20, I but Parvati, But Parvati got up. She was up before I left. Oh, okay. Well, and it's, good. you know, 11. So she was in the shower. <laughs> she was in the shower at 10. Because she's got something to do today. Man. She she's, wants to go that freaking exactly. record store. Yeah, that's so she's awesome. motivated. Yeah. She, she's, she's very motivated to shop. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She's she always about those like target expeditions. Yeah, well, Loves that. part of the reason yeah. we got up yesterday is because we went to the bank and opened Lily Kate's teen checking account. Because she oh, you have to be 13. That. She okay. turned 13 on Thursday. So yep. Friday we were there with her wad of cash that she's been nice. hoarding. Nice. What bank did you end up going with? Wells Fargo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have an account there. I did that That's once good. for Michaela, like a student, you know, mm -hmm. account or whatever, like a savings account. And then <clears throat> they didn't open it right as a student. Oh. And then they started billing her. Right. Yeah. And so her like $45 we had put in there was like gone oh, yeah. so fast. And I went up Aww. there and raised the holy hell. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we're sorry. Somebody like didn't put it in as a student. It's not a, you know, there's really nothing we can do about that. I was like, oh, so you just are around to steal children's money. <laughs> nice. Good to yeah. know. I guess we'll just keep putting it under her mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this account, there's no either. fees. There's no overdraft. So, yeah, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good, good for her. And she they get a debit card. Manage her little money, yes. which is awesome. You should do the Apple Cash thing for her, too. We do. do tax we do. Pay. Yeah. Yeah. The cash card. Yeah, but she's she's the saver. She's, you yeah. know, she's got a vision, just like she wants to buy these shoes. I'm like, you Is she going to save money. up to buy her purple Jeep? Oh, is that yeah, what she's she going is. for? Is purple she Jeep. Nice. Oh, my God. Her. Not buying oh, a Wrangler. purple Jeep. That's what she wants. <laughs> the daisy on the wheel cover. Oh, my I God. I sent her a picture the other day of one, not the other day, but like a few weeks back. Uh, it was a regular painted Jeep with mm -hmm. purple accents. Oh, okay. And I was like, maybe this is a compromise. <laughs> Hey, you know, she yeah. saves it up. She yeah. knows what she's she wants. She's a little bohemian baby. Yeah, she is. I love that. Yeah, she is. Oh, speaking of that, I came across this great website. And so, because I was like, oh man, you know, we're thinking about like Lily Kate, her birthday, and, da, 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 and I was talking to Gabby about it. And I was like, I had gotten their shower curtain from it and it had popped back up on my thing. It's like natural life, I think is what it's called. I know it's windy out today. It's mm -hmm. going to blow our papers. Uh, well, anyway, of course, when you need something, it doesn't yeah, come up, usually. but it'll come up, you know, four hours from now. And well, I you just talked about it. So it'll be on your Facebook. Feed. Yes. Natural life. Could you come up? Anyway, <laughs> they have lots of cool no, bohemian style. Never when style. you need it. No, it's later. No. No. Decorations. We'll have to and check like that out. Housewares and little mud. Like, oh, yes. Totally okay. thought yeah, of Yeah, well, look, because we're redoing her room. So. Yes, that would be great. Yeah. She would love that. That'd be fun. Pinky likes well, to deal. do her room. Yeah. And she's redone it like every year just about. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, this one's done. <laughs> on to the like, next. Can I, paint? can I paint? Come on. What oh. paint do you want? <laughs> she's like, I haven't decided yet. Uh -uh. Want to paint? I know. It's fun until something. you're like three quarters of the way done and your hand's like this. I oh, know. I love to paint. Really? I paint all day long, every day. Oh, it's such a like fun. immediate gratification. Right. Because it's done right there. Like, yeah, you see, you see the difference. Do you, do you like freehand? Your lines? No? Okay. No, nope. anything in my OCD. Do you think I freehand anything? No. Do you get the tool that does it? I've had the tool. I mean, I can cut it and fine. Yeah. That, that's what you're asking? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm not like freehanding shapes on the wall like Nick Judy does. <laughs> I know. He's amazing. Oh, wow. Gosh, yeah, not guy. many people can do it's that. Disgusting. Yeah, he's super talented. Max wants to redo his for his birthday, too. Mm -hmm. But that's because he wants a whole gaming setup. 
Oh, oh, right. So he's like already sitting <laughs> yeah. me desks and he's you know. got his multiple screens so he can yeah. build well, his businesses. We were yeah. in um, we were All in B photo, <laughs> and he was like really, oh, I bet. really loving. They had so uh-huh. they they have photography equipment, but they also had so much else. Mm-hmm. And they had like three different setups, I think, yes. for like car racing games. Oh my god! Yes. And he was living for that. You could just tell he was like it's probably the highlight of the trip. For oh him. yeah, he wanted probably. to go back there. Well, that in the shoe place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. he wanted yeah. to go to every shoe place. <laughs> Jesus, that was crazy. Uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, so he's got it all in his brain what he wants and whatever. Yeah, so we're working. Should on be that. fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank God we have a little bit more time. It'll be I mean, June. Oh, okay. 14th. I mean, it'll be here before we know. Yeah. yeah. Um, just around the corner. But I have just a little bit of... Yeah. I feel like I blinked and yeah. it's already April. Well, that's why I yeah. kind of went through this is and great. pulled some info from it for us because I realized I'm a planner. I like yes. to know my options and yes. I feel very disconnected because we had New York and we had Drowsy Chaperone and we have Frozen and we have all these different things that are like pulling our attention and... Yeah. This all this stuff is gonna come up really quickly. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of miss. deadlines. Yes. Yeah. So I thought we could pull together some info for parents and others. Yes. Did you print me one of these? Yep. I did. All right, let's see yours. Yeah, take it. Mine's more general. Like Yeah, this is like in our community, what okay. can you do? So cool. I started out with camps because and they're all it's different kind prices. Of, yeah. That's perfect. An age group. So and I went with just the two theaters we know, Lakeland Community Theater and Theater Winterhaven, because we can vouch for those and say that they are excellent and you yes. will get excellent training yes. and And they're safe. Kids, right. And yeah. your kids will be in a good right. place. And I'm sure there's others out there. I just don't know those yeah. theaters well enough to vouch for them. Um, but this is a great camps are a great yep. way if your child has any kind of interest to do a camp to see do I truly like this and see what the process is like and the people, you build relationships, you get to meet people that will probably be casting shows later in the year. Yep. So it's a really good opportunity. Yep. Yeah. It's funny because like Make I was connections. given blood one time and the lady drawing my blood was asking me questions because her daughter had, you know, wanted to do this stuff. And she's like, she auditioned, but she didn't get cast. And I was like, well, yeah, that happens. You get mm-hmm. a lot more no's than you get yes's. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Lord knows we've heard that a lot on the podcast. Um, but she's like, well, what can I do to like, you know, get my kid more, um, in front of the people that make those decisions. And I was like, well, uh, camps, yeah, camps. And then the after school programs yeah. too. Yeah. The classes, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. all of those are a fantastic way to have, yeah. like, not only is your kid learning, but yes, they're also in front of the people mm-hmm. who are doing these shows and, right. um, yeah. So it's a really good opportunity. Or bad if your child misbehaves. <laughs> that is true. Exactly. That leaves an impression. <laughs> yes. Always on an audition. It's a double-edged so, sword. If you're going to do a camp, you got to be on your best behavior. Yeah. yeah. But I LCT has remember. two different camps going on this summer. Mm-hmm. They've got the a show in one week, so it's a Broadway mm-hmm. review, and that's for ages six to ten. So they split it up this year into age groups because it was just. Well, they get a lot of participation lot. over the summer. Really they good do. groups of yeah. kids. Over a hundred. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. So this one is in June, June 26th to the 30th, and uh, it's $350. Mm-hmm. And so what they'll do is it's not a, like a show, like a start to finish show. It's a review, so it's different songs. Oh, okay. Kind of like all together, yep. that was. Yep. And everybody gets cast. Everybody, yep. Yep. So, so they'll audition probably the first day or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then they'll go ahead and place them in their different... Parts, but there'll be plenty of big parts to go around. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. Know, in more than one. I like them doing the reviews better this year. It's really mm-hmm. hard to put together a show mm-hmm. in like a full on show that tells a whole story from the start to end. Yeah. Right. In such a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So LCT also has later in the summer for the older kids, 11 to 18 or 6 to 12th grade, a show in two weeks. So it's the same yeah. idea as a Broadway review, uh, but it's a two week camp versus the one week. Yeah. And maybe your kids. So it's like pure imagination for the little kids. Mm-hmm. Is that like Willy Wonka or is it, it just happens to be the words? It, I know? imagine it may have that song in there. I don't know. I don't okay. look that information up. It and then may. the big kids get Raise Your Raise voice. voice. Right. Yeah. Which, Which is, Theater Winter Haven is doing also July 10th through 28th. So they're, Interesting. Mm-hmm. So if the dates don't work for one, you can look at the dates for a yeah. different one. So. Yeah. And that's the other thing, too, is you'll notice there's going to be a lot of overlap. Yeah. So you'll have to kind of pick and choose. Right. How you That's want right. to spend yeah. your Yeah, and we'll put this up on the mm-hmm. website because yes. it's all the kind of information. Um, but the two-week camp is $500. Yeah. 
And if money's a struggle for you, there are scholarships available. Yes. Uh, yes. Just inquire. Yeah. Just inquire. And if your kid needs community service hours, this is a great way for the older kids to volunteer at these camps and yeah. earn hours. You can rack up some serious yeah, hours can. volunteering at the theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I think you have to be 16, I think Jordan would say. Is that what it was? Okay. For the camps. Yes. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Because you need... Yeah. The right supervision, yes. <laughs> not just a presence. Right. <laughs> That's funny because exactly. Parvati's always like, I want to help Jordan with her class next year, you know, whatever. And I'm like, yeah. hey, you're still kind of young. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're still, still kind of in the age in November, like, but yeah. still. She's going to be busy. Yeah, yeah she's, she's going to be busy. doing stuff. All right, Winter Haven also has a few things. They have an upcoming one-day workshop called Broadway Beginnings, which, mm -hmm. is that the same as what Gabby did? Is it the same organization? No, she did Destination okay. Broadway. But I'm wondering if this is what our that gentleman that we had on our podcast from New York had said that they were doing because what it is it's you do it at a local theater mm -hmm. and then you bring it to New York. Yes. I guess if it gets chosen. I wonder if that's well, I'm not sure. Oh. I don't know either. But these are the people that but are running not. it are do they do a lot of Disney stuff. Oh, okay. And um it's a one day camp. It's from ten to five. It's one hundred and twenty five dollars. If you want okay. a t shirt, it's an extra twenty dollars. And ages eleven and up. So it's kind of like a, a t it's like a mini summer intensive, I think. Yeah. In one day. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's okay. really qualified people running that. Yeah. And all these things that we're talking mm -hmm. about, you can find on their websites to get more information or call okay. them. And then they have an actual musical, Camp Rock the Musical. So that's their one of their summer camps. It's from June 12th to the 30th, and it's ages okay. 8 to 17 okay. for 499 unless you register before May 1st. It's 450 Wow. So that Early is bird. an actual show. Yeah, I guess so if register. your child is interested in that, like seeing mm -hmm. what it takes to put on a show, yeah. um, that would be an actual show versus the one later in the summer, the Raise Your Voice, is a review. Okay. So those are some of the camps that you can do. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we've got productions that are still going on. Mm -hmm. Now, most of them are already cast, but these are great things to come and see. Or to tech. Yes. Get some experience there. Well, so we've first got, one on your list is definitely not cast. Right. So Finding Nemo Jr. Disney's Finding Nemo Jr. is coming up at LCT, Lakeland Community Theater. Auditions are next Saturday, so April 15th. Yes, at 10 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, starting for, uh, starting at ten and going until mm -hmm. like five or six o'clock. Yes, right. right. So, so you, you can mm -hmm. go on the website mm -hmm. and then email Bridget. Her email's on there, mm -hmm. and then she will go ahead and assign you a time for, to bring your child, which is great. So you don't have to sit yes. there and wait all day. There's like thirty yeah. minute time slots. Like, <clears throat> it'll take mm -hmm. maybe ten kids each thirty minute time slot. I can't remember how many, but. You'll yeah. get assigned a time to come. So if they tell you to come at 10.30, come at 10.30. So the yeah. auditions, we've talked about this in past podcasts, but just to kind of rehash it really quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. The auditions are, bring, you have to have a prepared piece to sing, 16 yes. bars. You need the sheet music with you. You're going to mm -hmm. have they have a piano accompaniment there that will read that sheet music and play while you sing. Mm -hmm. yep. Your 16 bar cut. And then you go and you learn a quick choreo number and that dance and then you perform that you get kind of graded on that mm -hmm. um and then you'll either be called back or not called back callbacks are the next day aren't i believe they? so yeah yeah Sunday. yes they are that's great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah quick. i don't know what time i do not know either. that yeah and it's a sunday sure. mm -hmm. yes yeah. do them a little bit earlier so hopefully. that you're not there all night yeah that's what i was going to say yeah, hopefully they're yeah which is nice it's hard when they have to get up the next morning right. real early after they've been out late so yeah yeah, yeah. kids um yeah Kids. Kids. And the dance audition, like, <clears throat> children should not freak out about the dance audition that they get it perfect. That's not the no, goal there. No. Yeah, you know, it's actually, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. um, it's, the, even the singing, like, even if you screw up, it's about how you handle yourself mm -hmm. during that audition. Absolutely, yeah. You know, um, can you sing? They can tell that. Yeah. Um, how can you dance? You can you move? Mm -hmm. Yes, how approachable? How easy do you take instruction? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, do you that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're they're looking for a lot of different things. It's not just yeah. like you're perfect at a dance. Yeah, yeah. That you perfection. They're not looking ago. for perfection. No. no. Wear close toe shoes. Yes. Yes. No, like sandals or flip flops or nope. Crocs. Crocs. No. no. These no. kids no and like wearing all these Crocs. Well, oh and experienced kids wearing Crocs. Yes. <laughs> it's a no better. Yeah. No. Yes. It drives me crazy. All right, at Theater Winter Haven, upcoming that you can go see is Aristocat Kids. It's their Penguin Project. The yes. first one they're doing so over there. Exciting. So it's yes. super exciting. So Penguin Project is kind of like 
Lakeland Community Theater's out of the box production. So it's like kids with special needs. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, any, any, I don't know if Penguin Project is just kids or not. It's kids. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they have helpers that are not special needs, Mm -hmm. but this is the opportunity for those kids to, um, for the special needs kids to actually, you know, Mm -hmm. see the benefits of theater. Be a part of that. Yeah. 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 And, Gosh, it just like warms my heart every time we do stuff with them. I'm so bummed that, you know, it conflicts with all our frozen Mm -hmm. stuff because I had told Jordan like, Mm -hmm. you know, months ago, just like you did. I was like, count us in. We're in. We're backstage with out of the box. You know, we're happy to help. And then we got the dates for frozen. And I was like, well, (laughs) we're not just kidding. Sorry. That makes it. I know. I know. But we can still go see. That's I just should have put that on here. Out of the box is the first weekend in May. Yeah, at LCT. That if you want to just yes, feel good about life, go see that because that is my favorite. It's thing like Friday year. and Saturday, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's two different yeah. first weekend in May. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then they also have Mary Poppins, which Gabby is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You guys Gabby. Gotta come Mary see Poppins it. Junior. It's May 10th yep. through the 14th. So I think it's a Thursday yep. through Sunday, probably. It is. Okay. Yes. Yes. So they have school shows, mm-hmm. um, and then they're also doing the Saturday and Sunday, and I, there's probably a Friday night in there. I'm not 100% on the schedule, um, but, yeah. I mean, they're, it's, like, they're packed doing on great. your fridge? It is. It's totally <laughs> it's my nice fridge. rehearsal yesterday. I, so. Yeah. Again? I'm going to count fault. on it. <laughs> Again. Yes. Again. Thank God I have a husband who's on it, because... <laughs> It's nice to have a yin to your yang. Oh, gosh. I hear you. I need that yin more than I like to admit I need the (laughs) yin. I like to think that I can yin-yang all by myself. But, you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. And I do need him. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's great. And then um, their tech weekend is the -the Mm out-of-the-box weekend. So Mm -hmm. we'll be tied up. Caps will be over there tech weekend. We're still hoping to be able to get over and see. Yeah, we um, figured we can. Out-of-the-box we're able to go see the out of the box Saturday morning show because I right. have frozen stuff in until Saturday night. So we'll, okay, yeah, good. the tickets yeah. haven't gone on sale for frozen stuff yet, but like I have to buy like so many tickets right now because mm-hmm. we need to make sure too that our like our LCT crew gets to go. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because there's only so many tickets. Yeah, it's not that big of a thing. And Saturday is kind of like they perform Thursday and then they perform Saturday. Our kids. Okay. Okay. Um, Saturday night, so, Thursday night, mm-hmm. Saturday night. And when is the actual performance? Thursday night and Saturday night. Okay. That first weekend of May. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. So, gotcha. like, the fourth, okay. everything else okay. is happening. Yeah, May I know. There's so much overlap. That's May the problem. May 6th. And your okay. birthday's in there. Yeah, May 5th. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah super. She celebrate after the show. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably celebrate by going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be so a good nice. friend. Yeah, let's go to bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, and then this is Mother's sense. Day weekend too. Mary Poppins. Oh, that's right. It yes. is. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So you so, can see how all these things are like. It's yeah. Like this complicated web and of activities. You know what? That are you know, we're funny. usually like, we're almost always Father's Day at the, at the yes, theater. Yes. Always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Because Nemo, there's two yeah. weekends for Nemo. It's yes. the weekend of June 16th and 23rd. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I uh. It's funny because, like, I, I kind of live and die by the calendar these mm-hmm. days. Like, I can't. Daily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What am I doing today? Yeah. yeah. So my phone up? tells me. I have it on the lock screen even. Oh, like, do you? Yeah, telling me, like, what I have coming up. Yeah. Because I, I can't. Because my brain can't keep all of that straight. No. You know, no. you need to get it off your fridge and into your calendar. And I do. your phone. Well, and you know what was crazy is yesterday threw me off because it was, it's a Friday. So normally kids are in school. We have our thing. I'm working. Right. It was good Friday. Kids are off. I was off. So my day was completely, you know. Yeah, you wake up. What day is it? I I thought it was Saturday. I don't even know (laughs) what's going on, you know, like who's on first. So um, today she has rehearsal from one to four. So thank goodness PJ has got that covered. Max also wants to go fishing. So at some point we'll squeeze that in throughout. It's beautiful out. And get him out of his day. Where are you going to take him fishing? So there's a couple different options. So there's Peterson Park which is um, down off Cleveland Heights. There's okay. a little park back in there. Where there's baseball fields, and they have a bunch of different things. There's is that the one behind the Y? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I've been back there. Yep, yep. There's Tenerac, which, depending on time, yeah. which is great. That's awesome. I feel like there's a lot more sun at Tenerac. <clears throat> yeah. Like, if you're, you know, yes. me, and you're trying to be a vampire and stay out of the sun. Yes, there is. <laughs> um, there tends to be bigger fish out there, too. Yeah. Which is nice. But um, our old standby is always Carillon Lakes, so... 
where PJ's mom lives out there. Oh, so we okay. took her this morning to go see her for, because we're not, we won't see her for Easter tomorrow. So um, I'm going to ask a stupid question. Yeah. I know nothing about fishing. Yeah. This is all catch and release. Or? Do it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th because there's you're going to fish edible. for things like no, bass. There's nothing it's edible. You don't eat, you don't it's eat little. like big mouth bass. Okay. Normally, yeah. Anyway. And you know, when Max catches Maybe somebody things, does. You can catch catfish. Yeah. He'll do that. But those all kind of taste like dirt. Yeah. Well, you that's why you fry it. And there's, oh, so it's fried dirt? <laughs> there's mm. nothing around here that I would even think would about no. because of the drainage. Okay. Like, you know, right. yeah, no, it's right. total catch and release. Got it. Yeah, it's just um, the pleasure. It's just for it. sport. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he when Chris that. and I would go fish, even when we would go fish out on, like, the Gulf Coast and stuff, it, we always did catch and release. Okay. We would, when we first started, like, going years ago, we'd go out and I'm like, yeah, we're going to eat this. And then we'd, like you know, wrap it up and put it in the cooler and then you get home and it's like frozen solid. It's a brick and you're like, it's a fish brick. <laughs> and you're like, and you're like well, stick. yeah. So, you know, you can thaw it out and then yeah. you can, you know, but yeah. you really ought to. Golf cart. Yeah, golf cart. <laughs> um, you really ought to like fillet it before you put right. it in your cooler. Yeah. And we just never did that. So then you end up with this kind of, I don't know. And we, yeah. we're not really good at that stuff. So mm -hmm. we just pivoted. We're catch and release. It is yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. I'll just go to the restaurant and like I they can so feed me public. whatever. Yes. Just, I'll take that piece right yes. Yeah, yeah. But if we charter, so for Max's birthday a couple years ago, we chartered a trip and PJ took him out. Those and, are always so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. But it is a long day. Friend. Yeah. It is a long and day. The yeah. They did a half fun. day. Well, those have cabins if you yeah. charter the right one. Mm -hmm. um, and they caught a bunch of like red snapper and this big flounder. So we did, they, mm -hmm. they brought some fish. Did they do one of those party day? boats or did they like charter no. like an actual so it's like, like a, yeah, it's fisherman? Like, mm -hmm, it's a fisherman charter. Okay. Um, it's through friends of ours and, um, he has his own charter out there and they live out in Bradenton and yeah. So um, he was supposed to go last summer and- Oh, I can remember this. Yes, yeah. and it didn't work mm -hmm. out. So we still owe him another trip. Just um, like you owed Gabby a doll. Yes, yeah, just like we owed her a doll, which <laughs> like we did creepy, take yeah. care of. Creepy now doll. she's got yes, one. Yes, now she's got one. It's not really any less creepy than the last oh, one. Oh, it's slightly less creepy. Yeah, the hair's a lot different. That, that, was horrible. that brown haired Chucky doll. He's they still got. in the back of my car. I haven't gotten rid of him. Oh my God, we have got to Well, you saw the one they used for Into the Woods. <laughs> it's kind of like that. They were all kind of creepy. Oh, we should donate. We got to go put that on somebody's We do. <laughs> With, a little, with Easter bunny ears. Oh. Yes. Wait, you didn't return that? I can't. I missed my Amazon window. So now I guess I you know, just send it back. They'll just take it. I've missed plenty of windows. Just send it anyway, and they yeah. I still get the refund. Really? Yeah. 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 That would okay. be more fun to put it on somebody's doorstep. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you if know. you initiated the refund, <laughs> knock and then leave it. <laughs> <laughs> run away and leave the doll right there. Oh, sweet Jesus. Listen, next week we'll bring it on because I don't even yeah. have a car. I can't even run out there. But yeah, yeah, you got to. Well, did you if you there. if you started the initial refund? No, I've okay. never. Oh, okay, well I've then never. maybe you passed it then. Oh yeah, I start it and then I never make it to the UPS store to drop it off. Yeah, but if I just go drop it off even four <laughs> months later, which I just did for stuff that I had bought for Christmas oh, that gosh. I ordered, and yeah, it either came wrong um, or because like I ordered like these things. Mm -hmm. And they shipped me like Dove's men's facial oh soap or yes. something instead. And I was what? like, what the fuck, Amazon? Yeah. Do y'all not read? Um, yeah. So I had to return that. And then Pinky ordered a skirt. And it was the wrong size. So I had to turn that back Aww. in. But um, yeah, it was like really super late. I just got the refunds. Care. Yeah, they didn't wow. care as long as you send it in. Thanks, Amazon. Yeah. yeah. One time, but you got to start me. that refund. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. It's still in my. Will you just let me handle that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, she's my. She's gonna be my personal. <laughs> I need a personal secretary. I need a. I need I a PA. Be like an executive secretary, just <laughs> organizing all. There you go. Okay. Sounds fabulous. <laughs> go with your talents. Go with your passion. <laughs> go with it. Yeah. Exactly. All right. We squirreled. <laughs> a little bit. We did. It happened. So I, I was curious. Um, and wanted to do a little research too, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. not about like local stuff, right? So I did summer intensives research, yeah. right? And it's like seven pages of stuff. And that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, so there are um, there are summer intensives that are available. We've talked about this before with one of our past guests, like for any age, pretty much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like five, six and up. Mm -hmm. So, but generally speaking, I feel like you're doing summer intensive. You can do camps for the younger kids, but summer intensives are really more geared towards like older kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you're really serious about 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I think the reason behind that is, as I, I get further along in my research, um, is because they cost so much. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, they um, can be like up to anywhere to $2,500. Uh, more. Yeah. So um, cost of summer intensive programs for musical theater can vary widely from 1000 to $5,000 wow. for a two-week Crazy. program. Yeah. Or more. So some of the factors that affect that cost, obviously, um, more than just the actual like event itself, is the location, the duration, the faculty they're bringing in, um, your own housing, your meals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if your parent is coming with you, like their That's housing awesome. and their meals, you know, uh, mm-hmm. are there other activities that you want to do? Because like if you go do uh, the one that's in... Hold on. Is when we looked the at one New that's York. in New York. They have like yes. sightseeing package. So the Broadway yes. Artists mm-hmm. Alliance, that's the one in New York. Mm-hmm. Um, highly respected summer intensive program for high school students interested in musical theater. It's held in New York City. It offers several dis- different sessions ranging from one to th- three weeks, weeks in length. So, um, yeah, I know they like they do some stuff, but you're also you're in New York. And right. you have like nights free, I think. The, the yeah. one that we looked at had uh, two shows included with it. So it was like $2,500. It was a package. Yeah, and it, yeah. So it was a child and a parent or a guardian. Yep. And you got two shows, you got a couple dinners, but then you also had free time to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could pay additionally for some yeah. of the tours. So if you and go they up still there. have applications open, you can submit um, a video. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're in a... Just as of like Yeah, you have to like audition that. to apply yeah. for them. Yeah. Um, then there's Destination Broadway, which I looked into a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pinky, I wanted her to do one of these this summer, but um, it's as she's headed into Harrison mm-hmm. now, uh, I feel like she's really wanting to have some kind of free time in her summer. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. So I figured, well, maybe she'll audition for, she'll do, not audition, maybe she'll do one of the summer camps mm-hmm. instead this year, or maybe we'll just let her have it free. I don't know. Yeah. So gotcha. I'm pushing her. She's going to audition for Nemo. She is going to? Yeah. Okay. I've pushed a little bit. Chris pushed a little bit. I hadn't gotten a yes, mm-hmm. but Chris said did he had a one? yes. Okay, good. Really so he did it. Yes. And then when I went and it's picked confirmed. up, mm-hmm. and then when Pinky, I picked her up from school one day and I told her, I said, Daddy, signed you up for... Um, Nemo auditions. Yeah. And she was like, Ugh. and I was like, what? You didn't agree? And she's like, not yet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Have and I was like, that. well, apparently yes, you what? said something that sounded like a yes to daddy. So it happened. <laughs> it was yeah. a slight nod of your head. You yeah, took as a yes. Yes, or, something like that. Fun. Once she gets there, she'll have I fun. know, but yeah. <laughs> so um, there are some other summer intensive programs that I found that are similar to Broadway Artist Alliance and Destination Broadway. Mm-hmm. So, like, those programs, they happen. They bring in people who have been on Broadway, like, experts in that field. They teach the kids choreo, acting, and dance. Mm-hmm. And I don't yeah, they know what else. case at the end. Mm-hmm. Did they? Yeah. Most of them, I don't know about those. But so, yeah, that's Camp, kind of what they do. Camp yeah. Broadway was, and is one. Casting um, directors and stuff. Oh, yeah. Agents. The program, Camp Broadway is another one. Uh, it, the program offers a variety of summer camps and intensives for students aged 6 to 17. Okay. Students receive training, singing, training in singing, dance, and acting, and have the opportunity to form a final showcase. Oh, perfect! Um, also, I have five here. The French Woods Festival of the Performing Arts is in upstate New York. Okay. That guy. I know. On his golf cart. Is that like the loudest golf cart known to man? That's I wonder if that's diesel. the one that goes all it around. Is. It is. Oh, it's that shuttle swan thing. shuttle or something. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. So upstate New York offers a variety of stuff, uh, including a triple threat program that focuses oh. on singing, dancing, and acting. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so three, the Stage Door Manor Summer Camp in the Catskill Mountains of New York. Yeah. Um, known for its focus on musical theater, offers programs for students aged 8 to 18. Isn't what? that one? Stephen, I think, yeah. mentioned that one. Did he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They get singing, dancing, and acting training and, and uh, do a summer final showcase. Gorgeous. We used to do horse shows up That's where oh, everybody, wow. like, goes, right? Yeah. Catskills are super I guess. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm not in that crowd. <laughs> I'm me either. <laughs> It's a different level. <laughs> you can ski there or you can like summer vacation there. Okay. It's just really pretty. Um, okay, number four, Interlochen Center for the Arts in Michigan offers a variety of programs for students interested in performing arts, musical theater, uh, intensive that focuses on singing, dancing, and acting. And then five, Performing Arts Project Summer Program held at White Wake Forest University in North mm, Carolina. So close. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, offers a variety of stuff for musical theater. So they're... Highly respected, apparently, within the musical theater yeah. industry. I 
don't know much about these. So, like, seeing these come up, like, I'm like, oh, they're new yeah. to me. It's kind of cool. Yeah. There's that one with um, Kristen Chenoweth mm -hmm. that's in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yes. yes. Um, Pinky really, really wants to do that one. Uh, but we missed the window for that. Uh, the deadline. Yeah. Did you try, like, Maybe contact anybody? Because No. We're not going to push. We'll, we'll do it another year. Okay. Next year? Yeah. She yeah. just really wants the meat. That's, like, her. Uh-huh. Yeah, her you person. Know, her person that yeah. she really, her famous person she really mm -hmm. wants to meet. Idol, idolizes her and stuff, so, yeah. I did a little bit of research on, um, so school. So, like, once they kind of get into high school and whatnot, it's like, okay, where can we start to learn? And maybe it's not a program where there's, like, casting directors and things like that there, but it's more of, like, training mm -hmm. attached to these colleges. Right. So, I looked at um, one of the music directors from Destination Broadway from last year, graduated from the Boston Conservatory. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, I know that's a really good school. So I looked that up um, just the other day. And they do have programs to for summer. Okay. A m majority of them, you have to be 15 and older. So they have a whole summer um, curriculum. Mm -hmm. So the Boston School of Music and the Conservatory have come together. I, I'm assuming they used to be two separate entities. And now they're one, according to what I read. Um, Anyway, so they have things like all straight from even if you just do music okay. or musical theater. Um, there's like four different things that you can do there in the summer. And it's either like one week or two week. But for the kids that are aged like 13 and 14 and up, they also have a youth musical theater program. So there's one that's like the first week of August, like right before they go back to school. So I went to go and it's like a thousand dollars, nine hundred and some dollars. Um, but Gabby's too young. She doesn't oh, meet the age. Right. So I had to enter a age acceptance waiver. Oh. Um, not acceptance, except, uh, exception. exception. Yes. Thank you. My tongue was tied. I know. It time. happens. I can't do that. That's kind of weird. Hard. Yes. Exactly. So, and I had to send in a video. Okay. So we'll see. She's got a great resume. But that can yeah. be something, yeah. you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's not <laughs> like there's no showcase at the end. Mm -hmm. It's just like strict training. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah just training. So I was looking at that, but I bet you there's a bunch of colleges um, well, that might we offer something from, for younger kids. Was it Levine, the principal of Harrison? And he was talking before one of the perform, like before we saw Drowsy, I think, about how maybe it was that or maybe it was at the parent meeting that we had. But he talked about how their juniors apply for scholarships through Harrison. Yes. yes. And then they get to go to these summer intensives mm -hmm. on those scholarships. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they Teresa do that for the juniors. That. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I think her oldest daughter did that mm -hmm. last year and got to go somewhere pretty awesome. Uh, I don't Penn know. Penn State, I believe. Yes. So Was it Penn State? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe. Right. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and do one of their summer intensive programs, which I thought, yeah. oh, well, that's really cool. So that yeah. cool. if Harrison does that, maybe other schools do too. Right. Yeah. So you should definitely, if definitely you're look into not that. here and you don't go to Harrison, like you should definitely check with your high school and see what they mm -hmm. offer. And then I know that a lot of these programs offer scholarships as well to help bring the students in. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even though it may cost, you know, $2,500, it may not actually right. if you qualify for some kind of financial aid to kind of help you mm -hmm. get there. So it shouldn't be a barrier to entry. No. Yeah. Yeah. They're looking to be inclusive yeah. and bring people in. Yes. That can't otherwise afford right. it. Because there's a lot of town out there that That's true. may not yeah. just can't annoying. get there. Yeah. And I know too, once you're that high up in school, like when you're a junior and you do those, a lot of times that's a great way if you do their summer intensive to get through the pre screening. Yeah. Because yes. they've seen you and so they know. It's, like, it never hurts. Say. Yeah. I mean, I think you still have to do the same stuff that, like when we had Kat on and she talked mm -hmm. about how her daughter was going through all of that. I think you still have yeah. to do all of yeah. that. However, comma. I know, like, Michaela did um, the summer programs for band up at FSU. Mm -hmm. And they talked about how it's a great way to have your kid, you know, be visible yeah. to them. Because right. if yeah. they decided that they wanted to go into that program, like, they already know them. It's the same idea. Like, yeah. yeah. Do the camps because they get to know you. and then Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's yeah. like at what age? You know, I mean, Gabby's only 11, but what the hell? Let's yeah. get it started. Why you yeah. Know? Might as Might, well. Because it's the faculty that's teaching mm -hmm. up there, you know. And yeah. if it's just she's getting tips and tricks yeah. and, you know, I mean... And a week in Boston is never bad. Never bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Never bad. Well, and part of the reason I wanted to look through all this stuff is because if you kind of have an idea in your head that this is coming up, like next summer, yeah, you can start planning for yes. it financially. Yes. That's very true. And there's exactly. all of these 
like the Straz's season next year. Is oh, so oh my god, we were talking about getting good. Yeah, like, like, like I, I want to get season two. Yes. I've never wanted to, but they here's their lineup yes. next year. Yes. Um, at okay. the end of this year, they've got To Kill a Mockingbird and Ain't Too Proud. Mm-hmm. Jagged Little Pill. I know. I love Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. Like, I'm mm. so... She's touring again, by the way. Oh, wow. I saw her last Jagged really? Little Pill tour. Oh, wow. Alanis Morissette's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and God. it was so good. Yeah. And I think the girl that I went with, I was working at... I was an animal trainer at the time. So this was years ago. I was going to say. A um, while ago. But, uh, but yeah, I went with her. And I couldn't... I was singing the whole time. And I think she was just like, Kristen, seriously, shut the fuck yeah, up. Shut I'm shut here it. for her, not you. Right. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't help myself. <laughs> right. She was that person. I was like, yeah, yeah, she yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you're supposed to sing along there at this point. Yeah, concert seems more acceptable yeah. to sing along Absolutely. versus a Broadway show yeah. where yeah. you yeah. shut For your sure. trap. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can laugh and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. You should yeah. fucking sing. But you shouldn't have to do the whole thing. So this Annie, is oh, this... Oh, um, ladies. Oh, God. I, is that like a touring show, you think? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. That lasted their season that's at awesome. Annie, okay. which is so fun for little girls to yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, that's the yes. end of this season. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. next season, they've got... The Choir of Man. I don't know anything about that. It's like a nine. It's okay. Skip man. that one. Moving yeah. on. Next okay. one. Yeah. Beetlejuice. Yes. yes. Funny Girl. <laughs> Company. Yeah. Yes. Moulin Rouge. Which we just saw, but I would totally, I would totally, totally go see it, again. see it again. Yeah. Girl from the North Country. Yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh yeah. Peter Pan and Clue. Clue. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, that's so much fun. Season. Yes. Mm. So I wanted to kind of look ahead because that it's expensive to go see these shows. It is. But if you do like a, a pass, a season mm-hmm. pass for these, it was like a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a little bit over a yeah. thousand. You have to pick like certain nights or more. So you can pick like a Tuesday night, a Wednesday night or something like that. Yeah. But that's like your night to go right. for all of the shows. Correct. Is what it looked like. Is what it looked like. I do not actually. I don't know. I was looking at the Saturday matinee. Mm-hmm. I was like, that would be one. And I feel like we could probably always hit. Yeah. The problem is then you get cast in a show and then you've got performance. You know, it's like, yeah, it's that web Life. again, that puzzle mm-hmm. of trying to coordinate mm-hmm. everything. But the good yeah. news is Dr. Phillips Center in Orlando. It looks like they have some repeats. Have, yeah, some repeats. So they're doing. Yes. We were going to go see Beetlejuice there. We're going. Uh, you got your tickets? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't actually bought our tickets. What night are you going? Uh, it's a Thursday night, the 29th, I think. June oh, okay. 27th. So is that right after Nina yeah. wraps? Yep. Ooh, you're okay. going to go on a school night? It's in the summer. Summer. Oh, wait, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, my brain. Yep. Okay. It's summer. So they're, to finish out their year this year, they've got Chicago, My Fair Lady, and Into the Woods. Yes. And Beetlejuice. And then next season, they have Annie. Annie comes. Yeah. Funny Girl. So it's, all, it's the same oh, ones, right? Yeah. A, well, a lot of them. them. Aladdin. Oh, okay. Moulin Rouge, Jagged Little Pill, Mrs. Doubtfire, Clue, and Les Mis Ooh. next summer. I know. So, so who do you get your pass with? Mm. I know. Or do you pick and choose? Because that's there's so many good shows coming. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, thought needs to oh, and let's see if Warehaven about... still hasn't announced their season for next year. I keep, Dan said it to uh, everybody in the audience. He did, but I, saw, it's not on their website. I, I just see it on the They need to get on that. Yeah. yeah. We didn't talk about LCTs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll skip we'll save that the best over there. Okay. So their production's coming up. They've got the Sweet Delilah Swim Cub Club coming up next weekend, April uh, 14th and the weekend of April mm-hmm. 21st, so two weekends. And then Jimmy Buffett's Escape to Margaritaville yep. with Kristen. Yeah, yeah. That'll Stage be a fun one. Managing that one. Yeah, that'll yeah. be a fun one. Yeah, definitely. And that'll be like a Mr. party. Is Mr. Pat doing the music? He yes. is. That's going to be yes. nice. We went and sat. Um, so we had our Harrison like welcome meeting. Yeah. And... Um, I was just like, well, I'm going to move up a little bit and sit closer to the front. But I don't like sitting in the middle. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting off to the side. Turns out all the teachers were sitting right oh, in front of us. <laughs> First two rows. And we sat like third row. And I was like, oh, hey, Pat, you know, start getting looks from people around us <laughs> sitting down. And then the, the the Lamberts came and sat right in front of us. Oh, my god! We were there first. Whatever. Oh, I know yeah. you saw the text from Chris. Like, I picked to sit by them. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it was not done intentionally. But I don't mind. Yeah. They're very nice. Very. All very nice people. And he yeah. seems to like Michaela and his class. Mm-hmm. So that's always good. Yeah. yeah. That's always helpful. Love that. Um, yeah. In Margaritaville, you can audition for if you are 16 to, it says 65 plus. So I guess 
still yeah. walking. All ages. Well, it's like All a ages. kind of a jukebox thing. Yeah. So just yeah, yeah. Jimmy Buffett yeah. music. It's but those fun. auditions are May 8th and 9th and then callbacks on the 11th. So if you have an interest in that or you're a teenager yeah. looking for something to do yeah. with your summer. It'll be fun. I know there's a bunch of people yeah. in our normal circle right. that are all auditioning right. for it. It'll be a fun so. cast. I yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. We're going to be in Virginia. We will miss that first weekend. But that's okay. We'll see it when we get back. Yeah. Well, then Theater Winter Haven has hairspray. So yes. July 13th to August 6th. Mm. I told Laura, I was like, you need to audition for that. Yes. I know. Yes. It would be so much fun for her. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. So there's so many good <clears throat> things to go see and do. Just in our little just, area. I know. I just, mean, I say little, but like Orlando and Tampa, yeah. too, you know? Yeah. Well, well the nice Florida's thing about where we are is this stuff. we are. It's like We're pretty so much lucky. the same distance one way or the other. So you can go to Tampa Sort or of. Except Orlando's, Orlando's traffic. Yeah. yeah. That's a bitch. <laughs> I, I went to, that. I needed to get, um, oh, I went to go get the, the light that I used to do your headshots last oh, week. Oh, I went to go pick so that up. good, by the way. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, she did a good um, So I went to go get that light and then the, the softbox for it. And um, the best shop is, I have found, I know there's one that's over in Auburndale and it's okay, but my favorite shop has always been Colonial Photo and Hobby. Mm-hmm. So like I go there, but it's on Colonial Drive yeah. and Mills, like downtown Orlando. Colonial Drive. And it took me three hours to get there. Three. Oh, my gosh. That is a normal, like, 45 yeah. to 50-minute drive. Oh, my gosh. But it yeah, was, it I, as soon as I long. got on I-4, it was traffic, like, creeping five miles an hour, ten miles an hour the entire way. Three hours. That's what podcasts I could have for. fucking scooted there faster. <laughs> you could have on the breakdown. Yes. Down I-4. <laughs> totally. <laughs> With that Chucky doll strapped back of your yes. scooter. Yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> Coming out of her backpack? No. <laughs> Fucking Chucky doll. Did you see, I, I saw something on Facebook the other day. Gosh, no, I wish this, had that doll. Last night I saw, they found a Chucky doll on the bottom of a lake, like tied down back down there. No and I was way. like, do not bring it up. Uh-uh. Don't untie it. Do <laughs> not. <laughs> don't leave that fucker bad. down there. Yeah. Oh my We've gosh. all seen way too many like, yeah. car films to know that that is leave bad news. alone. Yeah, that's yes. how it starts. Don't mess with yes. it. Yes. I don't know why this made me think of this, but I do want to give a shout out to all those seniors that we know and love who are facing the wonderful dilemma of having multiple schools accept them and making the decision of where they're going to go. Yeah. We're sending out our love to you guys. and Absolutely. Lots of support. Yeah. Yeah. You will you guys, make the right decision. Yeah, that you'll get a piece about where it's the right yes. place to go and it all yes. falls into place. And whatever you choose will be the right choice. Right. I mean, that's just how that goes. You know, Yeah. make it happen. I mean, what a great problem to have. I know. I'm very excited for all of them. I know. Yeah. See where they end up. See their I know. future. I can't even believe it. They're like seniors and they're, you know. Yeah, I was trying to do the Jesus. math because we've been at LCT four years. So I was like, okay, they were like going into high school about the time, right? You got to use your fingers for that. Yeah, same with ours. We were there. 2019 was our first show, right? So 2019, 2020, 2021. 23. 23. It's five years. And 19. you were there before us, so you're a lot longer than four. Well, if you count. <laughs> I know, right? That's, I mean, <laughs> look, I get there was some all the 19, all the 20, downtime in that mix. It doesn't count. It yeah. counts, though, because I, yeah, I did does. Elf that year. It does, okay. because Gabs was six, and now she's 11. And we okay. did okay. Matilda that year, so that totally counts, because okay. that was my so favorite we show that. ever. So it's third grade when Lily Kate started. But, like, I yeah. was thinking back like our first shows with those kids and they were already so talented when we first met them I know. back in eighth grade or whatever I know whenever when all those was. kids were in like middle school. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then we went through their Harrison journey with that, yeah. like getting accepted and yeah. going through all of that. And then we didn't get to see them so much at LCT anymore because no. they were busy doing high school things. Mm-hmm. I know. But when we would go and see them and they would be in things like Hunchback and yeah. I know. make you cry, they were so good. I well, know. I was looking at the Drowsy uh, Chaperone cast, and there were only a handful of kids in that cast that have not done something at LCT that we've been a part of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was really cool to be like, yeah. oh, I know all these kids. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Well, it's the whole watching them grow up thing, yeah. too. Like, yeah, yeah. I just love that. Yeah. So we're, they're not our kids, but they're kind of our kids. They are kids. We mm-hmm. claim them. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. So excited for them. See yeah. The choices they make. Yeah. Yes. We, uh, we were going to go see, they had those kids like going up to sing at um, Yard on Mass mm-hmm. up the road oh, from yeah. us. They did like a jazz night. Yeah. And then we forgot oh. and saw the post the next day. I was like, damn it. Right. Oh, was that through Harrison? Yeah. Yeah. So know. like the, the musical fun. theater kids were going to go perform oh, jazz okay. up mm-hmm. there. Cool. Yeah. yeah. They have their showcase coming up at the end of this month too. Yeah, That's their last performance for a lot of those seniors. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so bummed that Pinky's going to miss him by a year. Mm -hmm. I know. It would have been so great great to see her on the same stage with some of the others. But yeah. Yeah. That's right. There's other great ones coming up. Yeah. 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 Hopefully they'll announce their production soon for next year. Yeah. I know. Everybody's kind of, I was um, fishing a little bit when we were up there. I was like, we know what it is yet. No, we don't. (laughs) So when will Harrison have auditions for... The the fall. fall. They yeah. do it before school's out. So, so they, like, they cast okay. it before school's out. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. Which makes sense why the freshman incoming class is like, like, part of that. Right. Because they weren't there for auditions. Tick tock. Makes sense. You know, because they're running out of time. It's April. Yeah. yeah. Have like they, a, gotta, like, they have to announce it and audition it and cast it before they have auditions done. on the calendar. So you just oh, don't know okay. what you're auditioning for yet. Oh, okay. When are the auditions? End of April or? Uh, Think so. beginning I'd have to look at my, you know, I live day by day. Oh, so yeah, yeah. That's, that's a future problem. <laughs> I got to worry about yeah. this weekend. I know. I always say future me problem. The future <laughs> me is a little fucked, but it's fine. <laughs> Figure it out. Figure Easter it out tomorrow. when we get there. We always do. I know. Pinky was like asking me if we were going to do an egg hunt. I was like, now you're old. Oh, you kidding? I asked my kids, is the Easter bunny coming? They're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, yes. Well, Miriton did uh, like an Easter egg hunt for the kids yesterday. So I sent her the link. And I was like, <laughs> scoot down event. there. Why don't you go? You want to you wanna hunt for some Easter eggs? They're doing it on the lawn. I was driving She's there. sleeping. Yeah, she did, she did sleep right through it. But no, I sent it to her the day before. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. And yeah, she just didn't get up. Well, yeah, I drove yeah. past one on the way to pick you up today, and there were yeah. some teenagers out there hiding eggs. I'm using air quotes because they were yeah. standing in the middle and they were throwing the eggs in different directions. Yeah, oh well, when god. they land, they're, they're going to bust pop apart. Open. Oh my god! Yeah, Those kids, utes, utes, <laughs> you utes. There's three utes. What's a ute? What's a ute? What's a grit? <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, that's a great movie too. It is. But yes, we have lots of fun stuff going on. I know. Happy and, Easter uh, to everyone tomorrow to be past yes. Easter by the time you hear this. But yeah, it'll probably go out Tuesday. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Fun. Just the four of you? So yeah, just the four of us. Um, we'll go to church in the morning. Our kids, we probably will do a little Easter thing at the house. Mm-hmm. We'll hide some stuff. Kids are still young. Yeah, they still want that. Easter bunny, you know. A couple more years. It's excusable for a couple more years. Yeah, yeah. We'll give it a little bit. I'm less convinced about Lily Kate. (laughs) She'll hang on to the bitter end. She'll be at the nursing home being like, where's my egg hunt? (laughs) I need it. I need it. Pinky will be right there beside her. I stopped getting Easter egg hunts, but I didn't stop asking for them. No, she'll tell her therapist. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Kayla asked for it, too. She's she's like almost 17. Well, there was a year not too long ago where my mom tried not to do stockings, and my brother and I rebelled hard against what? that. What? Yes. Oh, Just stop. for us, you still not do for the kids. We you still her, yes. make your mom give you stockings, yes. stu- stocking, stocking stuffers? Yes. Wow. We absolutely do. And it's fantastic. We always say you get an orange in the bottom of it because, do you guys, your family ever did this? Okay, so gra- orange, my grandparents no. were Depression era kids, and they had yeah. zero money. Golf cart again. Yeah. So they always got. We lived in South Florida. They always got an orange in the bottom of their stocking to kind of fill it up. (laughs) So there's, so that's well, they got family tradition. Yeah, they do. Always get an orange right in the toe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Slide up in there. Exactly. Did I ever tell you guys how I got proposed to on Christmas? No. You got proposed on Christmas. Oh, well, yeah. t- do tell, do tell. Is this yeah. by Chris or by yeah. someone? <laughs> 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 you left that hanging. I'm like, yeah. uh, is there something else so, I need to tell you? We need to so I was, this. I was working at Discovery Cove. I had a shift because I never had the holidays off. Right. <laughs> like, you always get one, but I always got, like, New Year's, which yeah. I really never cared uh, about. No. Who wants yeah. Um, but, yeah, so weekend, I had to work on Christmas, and I'm getting ready and got my, you know, Discovery Cove button down on, feeling dapper as always, and <laughs> ready to roll in. And Chris grabs the stocking and is like, don't say I never gave you anything. Oh Tosses it in my lap. Oh, so romantic. I know. He's such an asshole sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, okay, let's do this. Yeah, Pull the things out. I'm like, it's the blah, blah, blah that I bought for myself because I always do stocking stuffers and he never fucking does. I get all the way to the bottom and in the bottom is the ring. Oh my God. I pull it, it out and he had told me for years because we were like dating for like five or six years before he proposed. Mm-hmm. Uh. And he always had told me he would never do it on a holiday. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm definitely not expecting it. Right. You know, right. Right. five or six years worth of that. You yeah. believe it. Right. So I pull it out and I look at it and he's like, so there. (laughs) 
So then there's that. He actually asked. You're like, oh, yeah. Santa wants to marry me? Did he did. Like, will you marry me? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. He definitely no. didn't do one knee. No knee. I don't think he asked the question either. He just, just assumed. Like there. Yeah. He's like, be like, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how very Han Solo of him. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he puts a little note on, wear me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Yeah, well, there's yeah. a lot yeah. of pressure around proposing. Yeah. Well, and he definitely was getting, well, I mean, we dated for a really yeah, long, a long time. time. And it was always like my parents were the worst about it because they'd be like, oh, why would you buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? I'm like, stop fucking calling me a cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So that's, that's my that's my that's story. That's a good Chris story. <laughs> that is a good like Chris it. story. We'll have to bust his chops about that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Should have given you a little Easter egg with it in it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Lots of variations on Something. that thing. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. All right. Yeah. So I I'll do a blog husband. post with some of this because I've got more information like how. Um, okay. Yeah. Like what do they provide? What do summer like intensives and stuff those provide? Camps in New York. They, I wonder if they're sleepaways. I bet you they are, huh? Like Probably. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, are, there. Are, I have a whole other list of like thirteen other summer intensives for high school students specifically, um, as well that are just kind of all around the country. Uh, Michigan, yeah. New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois. Um, let's see, T. No, Connecticut. I Connecticut. Who I was talking to California. They said that Juilliard does one in Orlando. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. That but would be an intense. I also program. did like if you're researching them, like what? There's the golf cart. The fucking golf cart. He makes so some really good too. time. Go, though, by he the way. does. <laughs> He's all decorated. Seriously. For Easter, He's got a off the back. It's empty though. So, so. I. I, I think they drive. On I think they they have a stop right next to LCT. They turn around and they come back. Oh, they take, okay. They're taking the people from but this I'm end like, to that I've end. Never seen. I haven't seen it. anybody in it. I have not today, but yeah, I have in today. the past. So, like, you know, what do you? And then things like, what do you? Um, how do you determine if it's a good fit for your child? Right. You know, I think they do. Ages twelve to eighteen. Nice. Who knew? Yeah. Well, yeah. apparently you did. Well, yeah, but I didn't know all the details. <laughs> I had just, like, yeah, I, it joggled something in my brain. And then if you're, like, researching the programs, like, what are the things you should consider about the program and yeah. all of that. So, like, I, I'll put some of this in a blog okay. post yeah, with the information that you also got about our local stuff. And yeah, got a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. This is the always. 9th to the 22nd. But they do drama, piano, voice, and then dance and musical theater. Wow. So they separate it. I don't know where it's at. I don't know. I mean, the application deadline is long gone. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Who knew? Oh, dormitory housing. Wow. Okay, yeah. So, anyway, pretty cool. There's yeah. a lot out there. You yeah. just got to dig in. Check the colleges that are near you, too, because a lot of them do it. I'm sure. Yes. Yes. A lot of them do it. And they'll it. offer them, you know, like I said, the one that I saw was age 15, but a lot of them have them for even, like, a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. You know, like your freshmen, your 14-year-olds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you're, you're trying to slide a 10 year old in there? She's 11. She's okay. 11. It starts okay. at like 13 or something <laughs> like that. But it's different. It's a youth one. It's, oh, not, okay. it's not the same one. It's right. a oh, different okay. gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we think they need to separate those out. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think you have to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's totally different. Well, and situation. that's what LCT is doing this summer, which is yeah. smart. Yeah. But Gabby's excited because she gets to be with the older kids this time. Oh, that's right. She's, oh, yeah. Yeah. She's not with Because she's anymore. not 10. Because she's not 10, Kristen. <laughs> she will tell you all day long. Now I have two teenagers in the house, so. I know. You do. 13. Wow. If one's not having a moment, the other is. That's the way it goes, you know? Yeah. Pretty much. It's okay. They keep you on your toes. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Keep us young. All right. All right, guys. Are we done here? Yep, we're done. I think so. Talk to you guys next week. All right, guys. Hey, have a great week. Happy Easter. Don't be haters. Yeah, can like, we just be kind? This hating nonsense is just ridiculous. Just love people for who they are. Um.